Yes, yes, this is Uncle T. <laughs> See, this is why I like boxing because you go around different places, you just meet certain people. I mean, sorry, are you a professional? <laughs> I might as well be. <laughs> <laughs> so let me, let me catch your name quickly. What's your name, sir? All right, so I'm Rehi Agiwa Sage. Okay. I, uh, I own and run and head coach at Elite Box. Elite Box is uh, the first and only commercial gym in Lagos, Nigeria. In Nigeria? So That's you own right. a gym in Nigeria? That's right, yeah. Where's that based? It's, uh, it's in Victoria Island. Oh, yeah, which is <laughs> you that, know, rep, yeah. that rep must kill you over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. But we make, so we make yeah, it work. We make it work. We make it work. How long have you had that business for? Uh, for about two years. For about two years. Two years. Yeah. Okay. So I'm I'm here on holiday, hanging out with my boy Top Boxer Sadiq. Okay, fellow Nigerian. Oh, yeah, TBS. <laughs> yes. Twenty-four. Not too arena. It's gonna be fine at the old too. Exactly. So let's 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 get back to you. So, um, did you just come here just to watch your guy fight? Uh, a combination of things, you know, when I come here, I come for a holiday, but, you know, boxing is in my blood, so yeah. I have to stay in shape, I yeah. have to help out wherever I can, yeah. and, um, no, it's good, it's a nice vibe here. Okay. I, like, I like this crew, and uh, I feel welcome as well, you know? What, what introduced you to unboxing? Um, mm, I actually started boxing, I'll say, about eight years ago, yeah. roughly. I used to play football. Really? Injured my knee quite badly, okay. so I needed something else to, to keep me active. Yeah. A friend of mine used to box, so I just tagged along. Yeah. And before I knew it, boom, yeah. the bug <laughs> uh, <laughs> got that's, addicted. That's, <laughs> that, that's, that, that sounds good. So, um, did you have any amateur fights? Yeah, I've had, I've had a few amateur fights in Lagos, actually. I've had four. Four in Lagos? Yeah, that's right. Those yeah. mad guys over there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> when they're trying to take it, <laughs> I can't imagine fighting over there, man. Right? Yeah, dude, punches Spar coming out from nowhere. Sparring sessions in Lagos is just wars all really? the time. There's no, it's just yeah. wars. So I'm used to it. You know what? What's funny is because I was listening to a podcast with um, Anthony, um Joshua Boatsi, yeah. and he was saying, yeah, sometimes when he goes to Ghana, he went there a few years ago with um, O'Hara Davis and um, Isaac Dogbo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Isaac Dogbo told him that, listen. They're gonna look at us like we're from the UK. Correct. Can't have it. Yeah. As soon as you get in the ring, it's war. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And Boatsi was like, no, no, I'm gonna try and box. But as soon as he got in the ring, he it said is. like, there was no boxing involved. It, it was just I tell you why. Going blows. I tell you why, because you see in West Africa, right, the, the people that, about 95% of the people that box are the lower class. Yes. So it's unusual for someone who's middle class or yes. junior or average yeah. to box. Yeah. So for them, they need to prove yeah. that they're tougher than you. But yeah, the thing like, about you, it, how dare you come to us? Precisely. Yeah. But you know the sport, it takes yeah. more than toughness. Yes. You need skills. Yes. Skills too. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so I'll be, I'll be willing to come to your gym once and. Well, most of people come to the gym. Do you have the Nigerian amateurs that come there as it's well? It's a mixture, yeah. So, um, Could they afford have, to come to VI? You know, for the amateurs, it's actually completely free. So as long as okay. they get there, come and train. Let no me problem. shake your hand. That's, that's really good yeah, of you. No, Noble no. of you. Because yeah, I know there's not a lot of more money invested in Nigeria. In boxing, in the sports. In boxing, Just really. sports in general. Yeah. Really yeah. Um, so for amateurs or professionals, come train. It's free. Oh, so okay. it's, it's the recreationals are the ones that are trying to learn, obviously. Yes. So they pay for that personal training, one-on-one, -on -one, that sort of stuff. Yes. But the amateurs and the pros, they can just use the facility. They know how to train yes. themselves. Yes. Yeah. So it works perfectly. And it's nice to have everyone under one roof. Yes. Which is unusual. Yes. In Nigeria, it's unusual. Lower yeah. class and the upper Thank class. Thank you. Level. That is beautiful. I like yeah, that sort of so thing. That's, that. That, that, yeah, that, that, that's having a way, especially in a culture like Nigeria, where... The lower class don't never really mix it with the upper class. It's kind of everywhere, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just really? how it is. You know, it's how it is. We're trying to we're trying to break that barrier, so to speak. Just and I think sport does a good job in yes. doing that globally. Yes. You know what I yes. mean? So let's yeah. see. Okay. Right. So how did you know you was, you was, it's going to be a success, or it was just a passion that you know, drove you through? I don't think you ever know. That's yeah. the thing. For me, it was just um, it's a situation whereby I enjoyed the sport and. Yeah. I required a facility somewhere that people like myself would train comfortably. Yeah. We don't always have to look on Instagram or on yeah. YouTube to see what the gyms are like yeah. there. We can have our own, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So that's that's why I created it. Yeah. And it just turns out that other people are interested in the sport yeah. and they're happy to utilize the space as well. Yeah. You know, so for us, you know, standards, quality, control yeah. is, is high in our high. agenda. Okay, you know, that's good. You can go anywhere, you won't find anything like ours. I can imagine. Yeah. I can imagine. So, um, 
Do you live quite close there as well? Not far, not far, yeah. Not, not far. far. The reason why I ask is because I know the traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, traffic. It's funny you say that though. Yeah. You know, Lagos is actually small, but the traffic yes. makes it seem like it's huge. Yeah. It's really small. So driving, I can get there in 10 minutes if I'm driving. But yeah. on an average day, it takes me about 45 minutes. Okay. Just because of traffic. Yes. But if I jog there, it takes me about 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah. So you jog there sometimes? Sometimes. Weekends. Yeah. When it's not too hot now. No, no, the heat. The yeah. heat. Dude, we jog in the heat. Man. Yeah, it's true. That's why conditioning. You find a lot of West African fighters. Their conditioning is always on point. Yes. That's something that we have. Yeah. And we never, we never fail to make weight. Yes. yes. Never fail to make weight. Yeah. All the time. Yes. It's just not unless you want to cheat and go in the weight class that's not yours. Precisely. And you try to drain yourself out, which precisely. is not, which is not healthy to it's do not that wise. in in a hot. Hot, hot country like Nigeria. No, it's not. It's something yeah. scorching. You can't play around with that. Yeah. It uses to your advantage, you know, for conditioning and stuff. Yeah. Um, so you enjoy. You, so you, you you must enjoy what you do, and you know it's quite charitable at the same time. Try to make a living out of it. Yeah, I mean, ideally, you know, it's not. Uh, it's not a lucrative sport in Nigeria. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, mean, I come here and I see certain gyms and I'm like, whoa. You know, especially the recreational ones. Yes. They're doing really well. You know what I mean? But we're not really on that level in Nigeria yes. yet, so yes. to speak. Yes. So hopefully it will become something like that. But at the moment, you know, we're adding value or we're making an impact. Yes. And for me, that's, you know, I'm content with that for now, yes. you know? Um, is there any famous guys that have been to your gym yeah um, give me know, some names definitely i mean larry okundayo came through okay yeah um, i'm not i'm talking outside of boxing oh, outside, oh yeah a lot of um these guys what's this guy's name Iyaya. okay he's there sometimes you know Iyaya? i have no idea oh, okay so he's a very popular nigerian artist man okay yeah yeah, yeah. Dude, i should know maybe i probably know his song though you can, yeah, if you, if you, have you got one of his songs on these, uh, uh not off the top of my okay, head but right. a lot of people know Iyaya, definitely. Uh, yeah yeah um, okay I think of that. I you think need to get some more of that. You need to get the Davidos, the Whiskies, yeah. some of I those will, endorsed, especially when you do charitable work. Yeah. You know what I mean, I know everything is about money. Money. I was Maybe about to say. Like, how much are you going to pay me to come to your gym? Say, <laughs> but, but no, they will come eventually. It's just yeah. I haven't actually been able to push on that yes. avenue yet. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, it's cool, man. It's a lot of fun. And yeah. uh, but you know, Nigeria is a stressful terrain. Yes. And actually, funny enough, everyone needs an outlet. That yes. so boxing is brilliant. Yes. Everyone yeah. needs an outlet. It's a positive yeah. outlet as well. Is there any other the amateurs or pro boxers that you see over there that you might think if there was in this environment would do well? Yes. Yeah. I, I already know like two or three guys at the top of my head. I'm, really? Honestly, now give I'm me some to names. Uh, there's a guy called uh, Real One. Okay. And I tell you what, man. What weight is he? He's a uh, he fights a super featherweight um, okay. and lightweight. Okay. In between, he's yeah. good. He's good. He's, he's four and zero at the moment. Yeah. Uh, I trained him for his first two fights. Yes. And um, honestly, a lot of these guys, they're blessed with skills, talent, yeah. but they just require support and encouragement. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. It might sound simple, right? Yeah, but we don't is. have that. Yes. We yeah. don't have that. It so is. for me, the way I help, you know, I provide my gym, yeah. I provide my service, yeah. any knowledge I have, you know, I, yeah. you know, I give it to them. Okay. Uh, and there are like two or three other guys. There's one heavyweight called um, Honorio Day, and he's actually 19 and 0 with 18 wow. kilos. 18? Yeah, 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 yeah. Jesus Christ. And, 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 so, and there are a couple more, man. There's a guy called, <laughs> you might know this guy called Tony Salam. Salam. Yeah, mm. Tony Salam. He used to box, I think he was an ABA champ here. Oh, okay, guy. yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. He beat, um, was it Jeffries? So he's a pro right now as well. He's a pro at the moment, yeah. How old is he now? I believe he's maybe 14 and 1 or something like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think he had a lot. He had some issues in the UK, so he moved to Nigeria. Okay. Uh, There are a few others. There are a few others, and even guys that people have never heard of. There's uh, there's a guy called Osita who who are boxed at this recent Commonwealth Games. Yes. You know, I spar with him and you know, you can tell when you spar with certain people, there's certain levels. Yeah. He's good, he's Is young, he's 19. Real, right. I don't know if this is real age. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I but he's 19 at least, you know, and, um, and he's got an upside, a lot of upside with him. Yeah. yeah a few. Okay, well, what I'm going so to try and do, sorry, um, what I'm going to try and do is cut this short and um, I'm going to try and come, come to Nigeria and see your gym. Sick. And then so, interview some of your some of those guys and I'll, I'll get them out. Yeah, get them, get them, get them out. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, that that'll be beautiful, and I'll be in contact with you. Okay. Yeah, well, good to go. thanks for having a short time with me. We just had the pickup gym here. Yep. You're just going to different gyms. I think the next one I might I might have to introduce you to Don Don Charles do, is, yeah. a, is a is a proud Nigerian as well, and Brilliant. he will give you some um, advice whenever you can. 
and we will see if we can move forward in yeah. this life of ours. Yeah, okay. no, I, it's all oh, about networking, man. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Well, all the best with you, and I'll catch you up another time. Thank bro. you, nice one, yeah, Take care, Brilliant. take care. <laughs>